Hey everyone, it's your girl, New Housewife Does Cooking. Um, today I'm going to be filming this myself because Nick is working from home. And I'm home today um, because of the awesome pandemic that everyone's experiencing. So I thought that I would make something that takes some time because we have all day and that, you know, is very sweet and you know, it warms the soul to have, especially for me. I love them. We're going to be making cinnamon rolls. So let's get started with mixing up our dough. So what we have here, we got some sugar. We have active dry yeast, melted butter. I don't know if you can see that. And two cups of warm milk. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding them in. So in goes my warm milk. In goes my melted butter. And then I need half a cup of sugar. And that worked out because I don't have sugar anymore. There we go. It's going to be on the sweeter side, which is fine. And I'm going to whisk it all together so I can fish out my whisk as soon as I can get all this extra stuff out. Okay. okay, so this is activated now. It's been one minute. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of whole milk and then four cups of flour to our mixture. Nick and I don't drink cow milk anymore. We drink almond milk, but I thought it was important to get whole milk for this recipe just in case it adds something special to the mix. I really don't know though. Okay, so that is that. Some all purpose flour here. Four cups. When I went to the store, there was no flour left except for expensive fancy flour. So we're working with this brand today. So, okay, one. Two. Four. Okay. We've got our four cups in. And I don't have a wooden spoon, but we're going to use a plastic one. And we're just going to start mixing it all together until it is just combined. And I'll show you what it looks like in the bowl. Just going like that until it is just combined. What's everybody doing for social distancing and pandemic quarantine activities? Are you guys baking at home? Are you guys cooking at home? Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Now this happened before where I made cinnamon rolls and they like originally didn't start off how I thought they would. And it was like really, really liquidy and doughy, and it wasn't like doughy at all. So I'm gonna whisk it. Try to get some of the lumps like mixed in. You know what? I'm gonna add one more cup in here. Because it is so soupy right now. And that was my problem last time was that. The second I added more flour, it worked and it became like a normal dough. So, 
I have a feeling, yeah, it's already looking a lot better. So I have a feeling that that was my problem. So instead of four cups of flour, I'm adding five cups or about four and six eighths cup, three fourths cup, I guess. Okay, that is looking a lot better. So maybe I should, here's what it, it looks like. It's still soupy, but at least it's got some sort of doughy beginnings. So what I'm going to do now is cover this with a towel. And it's pretty warm right in this area right here. we got some sunshine. So I'm going to leave this. Um, actually, I'm going to get a dry towel, a clean one, because I don't know where that's been. Um, okay. So i got a clean towel here, so I'm going to just put it over top. And then that sits for one hour. Okay, it has been one hour, so let's take a look. Let me show you what I'm looking at. It's supposed to have doubled in size. And it's really soupy. This is exactly what happened last time. So I'm just going to add another cup of flour and then let it rest for 30 more minutes. Cool. Alright, so it looks a lot better now. Um, it's still like soupy-ish, but it's better than what it looked like. And I have my cameraman back. Um, Nick has done his meeting so he can film again. So We're going to add two teaspoons of salt. But I'm, okay, I'm doing like one and a half teaspoons of salt, and I'll tell you why, because I started off with salted butter, um, so I'm probably just going to do like, like one or like, just like a little bit more, not, not, not a lot of salt for sure. So that's like just a little bit, that's good, that's good. So next is one teaspoon of baking powder. And then we're going to add more flour. So I have, we're going to do like three fourths cup. And then we're also going to add flour to the table as well. Not, we're, not the dining room table. We're going to add it right here to this table. Um, yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, this is definitely better. Like dough for sure. It's holding its shape and it's not turning into liquid right away so it's a lot better than what it was I don't know if you guys saw my snapchat um, a million years ago on um, cinnamon rolls but I did do cinnamon rolls before for an episode on my snapchat channel um, and that was a disaster as well um, I don't know if you remember that I don't well, oh, you were, I think I was home from work when you were working, so I made it all day, and it was like, disaster. But this is a lot better than that, so, alright, so my hands are already doughy, I'm just gonna do this. Yes, I'm sure I just mopped. You just mopped, I know, I love it. Thank you for mopping. I just make them more mess. It's fun. Nick is not. <laughs> like I said, just mopped. I said to him, I was like, we're going to be making cinnamon rolls. And he's like, okay. That sounds great. Right. Yeah, I'm making cinnamon rolls, not a mess. Alright, so I'm pouring my Why dough. are you doing that? Why just pull it out? Because it's fun this way. Because Okay, that was a big splash like I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Just getting it all covered and all mixed together. What do you do next? Uh, next, I'm going to make a large rectangle with this dough. And I'm going to try to cover this whole surface. Um, I'm going to grab a rolling pin. Or I'm going to grab a rolling pin. You're much more effective at rolling than I am. Thank you. Whenever I roll stuff, it just goes to... Hell in a handbasket. 
As I say that. As I say that. <laughs> I need to add more flour. That's the problem. Because it's starting to stick. Well, there's about a cup down here. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. There, see? Beautiful. Got my sharp edges. Yes. I'll get to that part in a second. Okay. Engineering attempts cooking is a lot of fun stuff that I try to do with the editing because I don't care too much. It's just, hey, let's figure out what I can do here that's fun. And then these ones are the more serious ones where it's more. Well, okay, not serious in that terms, but... We're going to cut the dough now. <laughs> yeah. All right, handle Lecter. soon but when he comes back this kitchen's gonna look spick and span is it maybe probably not probably not but it's supposed it's gonna i'm gonna do my best drive myself crazy with these edges so we're just gonna go ahead and do our thing now good enough yes so next we're going to get some softened butter that I did not pull out of the fridge and I just realized that just now but we're gonna do that we're gonna spread the butter evenly okay so we're gonna get, just warm up some two tablespoons of butter to spread to spread across the whole thing of dough. So cool. Okay, so I got my softened butter. It's a little melted, but I threw it in the fridge to get um, a little col colder. Yeah, and then I have my light brown sugar and my cinnamon. So <laughs> I'm give everyone like sickness. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is just push my butter, and I'm going to try to just um, spread it as evenly as I can throughout this whole dough, and that way each bite will have an even amount of ingredients. And I can actually see from the side, like, if the butter touched the dough in certain sections because it's, like, glossier. So I'm just kind of distributing. So. I don't know if you can see it on that side, but... Cannot see it. Oh, that's okay. okay. And the camera. The camera can't see it either. Okay. All right. Where's my half cup? Here. So next we're going to... Um, Generous amount of cinnamon. Yeah. We're going to do our cinnamon now. The very essence of what a cinnamon roll is. It's all about the cinnamon. You should eat a teaspoon of it. Hmm? You're running low on cinnamon. I am. No, It'll be okay. So it's just covering as much surface area as possible first and then touch up on areas. There we go. There we go. Airy. 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 Perfect. Look at that. That looks so good. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, that looks so delicious. Just 
might as well just use this whole thing. So I'm almost done with it. That's a generous amount of cinnamon. Sure is. Well, we don't want butter and dough roll. We want a cinnamon roll. Right? Fair. Oh, not our brown sugar. This I will put in a cup and then I will sprinkle it with my hands. Cool. Start with a half cup for now. See where that gets us. And I'm just taking it in my hands like this and I'm just doing this motion. That way it kind of gets an even distribution from my thumb and my fingers. Almost done. So the next step is to press the mixture into the butter. Press, 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 press. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start rolling now. It smells delicious. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, we have a casualty. Let's pinch that bad boy. Beautiful. You can't even tell. You can't even tell. It looks so nice. And this way when you roll it and you cut into it, you're going to see a beautiful spiral. It's going to look good. Alright. Just going to pick it up. Do that. And I'm also going to pinch the edge. The seam. The seam. Yep. Semantics. Pinch it. So Semantic. It Semantics. Yeah. So it doesn't come undone. Awesome. Look at that! And on the inside, it's got a beautiful spiral filled with delicious ingredients. So first, we're going to cut off the edges. Little bits of dough. And then we're going to cut in the center. Okay? Look at that. Little spirals. Okay? Evenly sized. The recipe I'm following says to cut seven on each side, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is already cut, and I already have all this dough real real estate, so. Wow, look at that beautiful color. Okay. Cool. Once I cut, I'm going to bring my heavily buttered dish over and I'm going to transport these right into the dish. And we're going to put them sideways, like, like so. There's a good one. That's a good one. I mean, they all look good, but. That one's my favorite. That one just has a good spirit. That's like one you see in Panera Bread. Like, look at our beautiful artisanals. <laughs> Artisanal. Yeah. Artisanal means it's a dollar extra. That's what that means. Actually, we will have enough room. Okay. I doubted myself. Did you want me to you want me to bake those too? Okay. Nick wants me to bake the misfits, the the ends as well. Well, I put frosting on them. It you want me to good. 
put cinnamon and sugar. Nah, I don't Brown sugar on the inside. Okay. Just put frosting over top. It'll just be doughy frosting. Sounds great to me. Okay. So we're going to pull out our same towel we had last time, and we're going to let these proof for 30 minutes, just like so. All right, it's been 30 minutes of them proofing, so let's see what we got. Ooh, they turned out so good. Oh, they puffed up so much. I love it. Okay, cool. So we have our oven preheated to 350. So let's throw these guys in for 30 minutes. All right. Happy cooking. Okay, so we have our cinnamon rolls baking now. You can go ahead and look at them. They're, They're delicious. really good. And we're going to get started on our icing. So we have four ounces of cream cheese here. We have melted butter. How much melted butter? Uh, two tablespoons. We're going to do two tablespoons of whole milk again. Um, one teaspoon of vanilla and a cup of powdered sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding everything in. One teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. Two tablespoons of whole milk. Whole milk. Oops. <laughs> and then we're going to wait on the sugar and then just work on what we have here first and then break down this cream cheese and then we'll add the powder. So. All right, next we're going to add our cup of powdered sugar here and then continue the whisking. It's okay if we lose some off the sides. It's going to happen. Ooh, it's getting there. Nick just tried some without the powdered sugar in it. It was not good. And he regretted it. <laughs> to which I say to him, what did you expect? <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Not that bad. Oh, uh, my hand hurts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check on these. <gasps> Ooh. They look so good, you guys. Don't have pads oh down here. Oh my gosh. Over there. I just want to see if they're cooked on the in the center. Oh man, this is amazing. They looked well cooked. They do, and it looks awesome. I'm really pleased. What's next? Next is our icing. So we have our icing here. There are some lumps, but it's just lumps of powdered sugar. So I'm not really that upset about it. Okay. So it's going to go right over top of these hot, hot cinnamon rolls. Do you want to uh, spread them? Yes, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh man, these look so good. They smell even better. Oh my gosh. People are like, nothing smells better than the love of your life. Have you smelled a cinnamon roll? <laughs> I'm telling you, there's nothing better. Nothing smells better than this. Oh my gosh. And then after these get the ice on icing on them, we're gonna let them cool, and then we'll have our guinea pig try them. Are you I'm excited? Very excited. Cool. I was just about to say that I'm so excited. <laughs> this is the first thing I've ever felt this way before. Really? No. <laughs> the other thing I'm excited for too. Shucks. <laughs> what about my shrimp stir fry? I didn't try that. Yeah, you did. You had the noodles. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, I did. That's right. Sorry, I thought the shrimp barbecue thing. That was a long time ago. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. a really old episode. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Nick is going to try the slice of cinnamon roll. Mm. 
That's really good. Yeah? That is freaking delicious. Oh, I'm so glad. Try just the dough itself. What's the dough itself taste like? That's emerald. Yeah? Awesome. Really good. really good. I'm so glad. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you guys are having a fun time during this not-so-fun time. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Um, and please let us know like what you guys are you know, doing and making during this quarantine. Tell us down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like our video. Next time we will be making steamed lobsters. Have a good day. Thank you. We're going to clear this whole thing. Let me just mix all this together first. All these powders. What are you doing? I'm messing with the dog. Silly. Silly banana. Thank you so much. Hey, Jen. Jeez! You're crazy. <laughs> oh my God.